Hi, boys and girls. May the Lord bless you. And I know and I trust that you have a good day and a good life and a good week. I know exam is coming very soon. And study hard and study well and discipline yourself. All right, let us pray and ask God to bless us today before we hear the words of God. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the great day. Thank you for your blessing. And we love you, Lord. May your Holy Spirit move and touch us. And Lord, knowing that we need you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, bless our boys and girls' studies. The exam is coming very soon. Lord, bless them and grant them a wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, I would like to share with you one beautiful word of God. And I really like this. It's in John chapter 1 and verse 12. The Bible says that, but as many as receive him, to them gave the, he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So today, the Bible says that you and me, if we believe in him, we will become his son or his daughter. So it is very, very easy and it's not expensive. No need for you to pay a penny. It's good enough, one thing that sure you come to Jesus and confess, Lord, I'm a sinner, Lord. May you forgive me. The Lord will surely forgive you. I want to give you, a, uh, tell you a very, very interesting story. One boy, right, and he was very frustrated and he come to see the pastor. He said, Pastor, I am, I'm hopeless. Pastor, I do not have a future. Pastor, I don't know what is the meaning of my life. I'm already in year 11 and my study is just so-so and I'm not happy. I want to quit because I don't see that I have a future. So the pastor said, that, well, son, why do you have that kind of feeling? He said, well, pastor, because I'm very bored. I play games. I download YouTube. So the pastor said, that, are you sure you want to quit? Yes. So the pastor said, do you mind that if I ask you to do something? He said, of course, pastor. What do you want me to do? So the pastor gave him just like a stone like this. You know, it's not a handphone, a stone. He said, you bring this stone to the fruits market and then you bring this stone to the supermarket and you bring this stone to the uh, a jewelry shop and, and the, the last place that you need to bring is bring this stone to one of the antique stone st shop that is, you know, on the street, down the street over there. And I want you to come back and let me know what, how much that this stone worth. But please don't sell it. Whatever number, whatever money that they offer, you just say, no, thank you. I will consider about it. Should I sell it or not? So fine. So this boy do according to, ac accordingly. He went to the fruit shop. He said that, hello, boss. I want to know that, uh, can I change or do you want to buy this uh, stone, beautiful stone, look. And the fruit shops, shop, the boss says, okay, I will give you 12 apples. You give me this stone and I, I will give you 12 apples. Oh, the boy said, it's very cheap. No, I don't want to sell it. All right then. So he just said, thank you. And he went to, to a second shop. When he was in the second shop, he said, what can I do you want to buy this? What? How much that it worth this this beautiful stone? The boss said, "All right, I give you a, a sack of noodle, or, you know, or a sack of potato, or a, a few box or two two box of uh, instant noodle." Oh, he said, "Oh, is that all?" Yes. So he said, "No, thank you." And then the third places that he went is to go to this uh, a jewelry shop, and that that man looked at this stone, and he was so interesting. And he looked at it for 10 minutes. He said, oh boy, this is beautiful. Then the boy said that, sir, how much that you're willing to pay me? He said, well, uh, this stone is, you know, worth a lot. And I pay you 3,000 US dollars. He said, whoa, 3,000 US dollars? Yes. If you want, I, I'm willing to pay 3,000 US dollars for this stone. Oh. And this boy said, no, thank you. I will think about it. And the four places that he went, is that antique, unique, a stone shop. And he said, that, Sir, I have a beautiful stone. Do you, do you think that you're interested in it and how much it's worth? So the boss looked at the stone amazingly and said, Oh, wow, beautiful stone. And for 15 minutes, this boss looked around and 
observed every corner of the stone. He said, boy, this is precious stone. I don't know how can I buy it because it's it worth so much. And the boy was very curious. And he said that, sir, how much it worth? He said, 100,000. Are you willing to sell it? I will pay you 100,000 US dollars, which is 1.4 billion million Indonesian rupiah. The boy was astonished and he shut his mouth. He was there, standing there for one minute. He said, no, sir, I, I will consider about it, but thank you for letting let me know that this stone worth so much money. And he left the place and he went back to see the pastor. So the pastor said, hi, boys. What happened? And the boy told him, the same stone that I went to the fruit market, it worth only 12 stones. And I went to the supermarket, it, you know, it's worth only, you know, two boxes of instant noodle. And the jeweler called, uh, willing to pay me $3,000. But the antique shop and the stone owner willing to pay me 100000 And the pastor smiled and said, son, do you know what does it mean? Now you are, you feel miserable. You felt that you were worth nothing. You felt that you don't have your future. But if you meet this right person and meet this right, the, the, st the stone owner, antique owner, and your stone worth 100,000, and your life worth more than 100,000. If you surrender your life in the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ, your life worth a billion dollars. So, today the Bible says that, but as many as receive him, to them give them power to become the son of God. So if you receive Jesus Christ as your father, and do you know that how much that you worth in his eyes? He said that you worth so much, so much, and he knows how many hairs that you have. Your mom and dad do not know how many hairs that you have. But God Jesus, He know, meaning that He loves you so much and you worth so much money in His sight. So today, if you are upset, if you are frustrated, I want to encourage you. Please do not give up. Come to meet Jesus. He is your owner. He is your boss. He is your father. He will make you what you ought to be. He will bless you. He will guide you. May the Lord bless you. And remember, remember, Jesus loves you. If you have any problem, come to him and pray. He will surely answer you. If you have any burden, talk to him and he will surely help you. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your great love. Thank you for your promise. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know that we are your son and we are your daughter. May you guide us and bless us. Lord, lead us, Lord. So our life in this world, sometimes we are wondering and pondering what is happening, but let us have faith in you and trust in you. Thank you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, we surrender our school, our parents, our country in your hand. In the precious name of Jesus, may you bless our country, our family, and our school. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I was rich. I remember who I was I was lost, I was blind I was running out of time Sin separated The breach was far too wide But from the far side of the chasm You held me in your sight So you made a way across the great divide left behind heaven's throne to build it here inside and there at the cross you paid the debt i owe broke my chains freed my soul for the first time i
Into glow.